Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Coming at you with Psalm 71. Uh, this one has no title of any kind whatsoever. Um, and just starts at verse 1. And I'm actually going to focus on the non existent title. So, a Bible message without a Bible verse. How unusual is that? But that is my entire focus the lack of the title, the lack of knowing who wrote it, what they based it on. What were they going through at the time? Where was their mind and heart at the time of the composition of this psalm? And it's not the first psalm, like up to this point in the psalms, that have no title. Just this time it really, really, it, it stuck with me and wouldn't go away. Of, of all the things in Psalm 71, I mean, of course, you know, I enjoyed it. It was good. It was consistent. I didn't see anything heretical or blasphemous in there. But that was the point that just really, really stuck with me. I have no idea who wrote this. I know absolutely nothing about the person, the character, again, what song they were singing it to, what they were, what circumstance or mindset they were basing it around. All I have are the words of Psalm 71. I have nothing else. And it's really cool to me how however many thousands of years ago there was this dude or or Dudette, very possibly, don't know, who wrote this psalm, and they worship the same God as me. They have, probably not, I'll say not roughly the same ideas as me. I mean, they're radically different views between Old Testament and New Testament times, certainly. But it's still really cool to me that we still have very, very similar thoughts. We worship the same God. And there's a whole lot that we are in agreement on. I can see why this particular psalm made the psaltery. It, it fits right in with the rest of them, giving praise to God, calling out to Him for help. And it's, it's just really, really cool. It's some good stuff. And coming from a person that, you know, one day I'll meet in heaven, I'll find out who wrote it then. But until then, you know, I just... You know, the reason I know that this can be a part of the Bible is just because it lines up with the overall theme of the Bible. God is good. He's big and powerful. He delivers his children. And we should cry out to him for that deliverance. The message lines up. And it, it apparently was a song of some kind to whatever tune it was set to, or it wouldn't be in the Psalms. And it's just good stuff. It, it's cool that I can relate to someone so far back even though I have no idea who they are. And we worship the same God and hold very, very similar beliefs. And of course, the same can also be said for the other parts of the church today. Plenty of people in the church that I don't know will never meet this side of heaven. But they worship the same God as me. They have similar beliefs to me. They're out there. They're in agreement with me on the most essential things. I just thought that was really, really cool. And that's what I got out of that psalm. So that's it, guys. Thank you very much for giving me a little bit of your time. Thank you very much for watching this video. I love you, and God bless.